there are so many things in my head lord grant grace be praying for me while you are listening to me eh? because there is a burden that a generation must offload once and for all otherwise very soon we will kill one another and eat our children was it not hunger that made two women to eat their children that that story has not stopped hunger will make even women if women eat their children imagine what the men will do to their children because can a mother forget her suckling child so by the time a mother turns her child into her meal when you send your daughter to a marriage that should not be because of financial advantage you eat your child So this this is not this is not the kind of teaching to choose whether you want to listen to or not you will be selfish ignoring this teaching because you are listening for the sake of a generation and your children born or unborn are we together Genesis chapter 42 I like us to read the first two verses Genesis chapter 42 blessed be the name of the Lord <sighs> Jesus let's read together it's projected one to read now when jacob saw that there was corn in egypt stop where was corn corn in egypt egypt has always represented a place of bondage and captivity an antichrist structure but provided there was corn there the prophet said unto his sons why do ye look upon one another Somebody is about to send his children to captivity because of corn. Verse 2. And he said, Behold, I have heard that there is corn in Egypt. Get you down thither and buy for us from thence that we may live and not die. A prophet can die when there is no corn. I'm a prophet. But where we are now, there is no corn and i've heard that there is corn in egypt it's not my desire to send you to a place of slavery but hunger will always take israel to egypt the only reason why israel goes to egypt is hunger i heard that there was corn in egypt and i'm sending you to go there now eventually they got there and then there arose a pharaoh that did not know joseph and he turned god's people into slaves that's how they got there while they became slaves the privilege that was given to them was that the straw was given to them then they would make the bricks and the mortar the moment moses came to propose an exodus this is what pharaoh said is it not because you still have time to call upon your God the remaining time we gave you to rest you are now using it to call on God and hear that you should be free occupy them stop giving them straw let them use the remaining time it's a strategy that our generation is still suffering today the moment he sees that you still have three extra hours he will do something to the economy to make sure the remaining time is now used to look for money even as your soul prospers the world system is that you prosper even as your soul dies i can know what economy you are operating by not by looking at your bank account i look at the quality of your soul when i see that as you rise your soul dies i know that you have tampered with an economy that is not from heaven so satan does not mind giving you money you will get gold as dust what he's looking for that's why the bible says what shall it profit a man profit profit business now if he gains what the whole world and loses his soul you paid for the world with your soul like you pay for water with money the commodity of exchange is your soul when satan took jesus up the mountain they were not talking business material things bow to me just give me access to your soul and i will give you all of this that is still the strategy till today it's a battle of your soul my brothers and my sisters and it's a battle of time it's not a battle of affluence it's not a battle of pedigree and all of this 
a battle the real arch enemy of satan is one who has both resources and an held, a healthy soul because you pay the price with your soul i found this years ago and it changed my life that this is the mystery behind the decadence that continues to happen over people's spiritual lives you would notice that for many people maybe whilst on campus they still have some little time and then they give god everything and suddenly things begin to change by the time they get jobs they hardly have time for god and the moment the moment the devil knows that you are hearing him a sermon that will lift you he can make you promoted satan doesn't always demote he will do anything that will take your soul including relocating you to a wealthy place the idea has never been money it's like a meter in the spirit he looks at your life versus your time and your soul the moment he finds out your soul is prospering he would do something to your time battle of time it takes time to know god it takes time to lock yourself for a whole day to say lord reveal yourself to me i want to hear you the moment that happens here comes a pta letter everything is growing except your salary your needs are growing the troubles are growing and then you look at your pta letter and you hold it for a long time as if you are not seeing it and that pressure alone will make you to round up that prayer immediately you were browsing how to know God and you didn't know when you started browsing a fast way to pay a child's school fees enter even as your soul prospers the generation that will ignore this message is the generation that will pay for the, the price of their foolishness with their children I thank God for the person who is teaching you this because most times we think people teach finance because they do not have anointing they are trying to remedy for the frustration of not being spiritual so they choose an area that can explain away their lack of power it is very important to be balanced the area of imbalance becomes the edge of Satan in a man's life Satan cometh to me and does not find anything of himself lack of resources has been the greatest basis of distraction if I ask all of us to write our prayer request now and I have the opportunity to read it I mean some will say must I write it I can't say it I need money I'm in trouble there's uh, the time to write I can say it. this is my problem listen to me The name of Jesus, you've heard me say, is extremely heavy. It takes money to carry it. The name of Jesus is extremely heavy. It will take resources to lift up that name. Even as your soul prospers. So he becomes a CEO. And while he becomes a CEO, his soul continues to go down. You are buying the cars you are buying the houses but your soul continues to go down your children will follow after the backsliding state of your soul and the bible says you did not profit in that business of destiny you lost because you gave away your soul for wealth now here's where the attack comes if you say satan my soul belongs to god and i will prosper he will isolate you as a case study and say let me see the technology by which you will step into this system and still rise financially and then your soul will still prosper no bow to me and i will give you the treasures or refuse to bow and I will manipulate your time and your life to a point that it will compel you to bow. Notice, they saw the ease with which Jesus was doing ministry. And they sent the scribes and the Pharisees. 
and they didn't seem to understand him the next set of people they sent were the tribute collectors they sent finance people come and do something to his time embarrass him corrupt his message create a case financially against him so that his message would not be heard and they brought the issue of tax not salmon not you are a good man you are changing society we had the other day that you healed a madman congratulations as the government we are happy mm -mm. that was not their concern we hear that you are doing this thing easy because you are not paying tax you claim to come from god you claim to be obedient but you are violating this and jesus looked at them and said peter go to the fish i i want to show you something you will not have power over my time I know what you are looking for go go to the fish take his coin give to him let him go then he said give to God what belongs to God and while you are doing so Caesar will come immediately so make sure you prepare Caesar's own so that as soon as Caesar comes you give to Caesar too what belongs to Caesar if you give to God what belongs to God Caesar will come the moment you start giving God time get ready Caesar will send the tax collectors he will send them as increased bills he will send them as multiplied school fees he would send them as the need to relocate he will send them as an angry landlord who does not know why he's angry and he said while you are serving God prepare Caesar's own because Caesar does not hear stories give him his coin He said the peacemakers are those who inherit the earth you make peace when you settle both god and caesar if you settle god alone you will not have peace you are not a peacemaker you must find a way of settling caesar is god speaking to us today yes, god forbid but imagine that we're in this conference now and because of a need some financial need whether for personal or whatever reason we now after preaching powerfully like this the next thing i manipulate the prophetic grace upon my life and start seeing your account and say you stand up you have seven million five hundred thousand when i prophesy like that and you are shaking i will use the opportunity to extract caesar's own out of your account quickly It may not be that I'm a bad man. While I saw that account, I just remembered my child's school fees. I said, how much is there? I mean, you can quickly smuggle out money. And because you are shaking under the anointing, you would think it's the anointing that is making me do all. The anointing came, but my flesh mixed with it. Because my belly is hungry. Even Jacob goes to Egypt to find bread. When there is corn in Egypt, he can give away his sons. I made up my mind that I will never worship money. I made up my mind that in the name of Jesus, we will inspire a generation correctly. But to do that, you will need, are we doing anything wrong? Help us please. You will need resources. Satan hates men who have time and money. It's like having water and fire together coexisting because he knows what you can do with time give a man time he can find God give a backslider time he can return to God give a cross person time he can find the cross and go back to the blessing but once you are distracted and there is no time was it not because there was time listen there was time that was why the disciples were listening to Jesus a time came when Satan started doing something and they said master we have left all our concerns are beginning to mount up you are keeping quiet about this what is our court in this tell us now because we've left too much and what is happening in the economy now is distracting our focus and Jesus said I get it no man who has left this or that or that but you will gain this in this life when Jesus was caught and went to the cross the disciples were angry in John 21 
Peter said, I go a fishing. Let me go back to what I was doing with my time. Before this karma called Jesus came to distract me. And the remaining disciples said, we go with you. And then they went back and they were fishing and could not catch any fish because Satan wanted to keep them there. For as long as you don't catch fish, you will continue. But here Jesus came. My God, Jesus inspires me. When you catch fish, you will leave the sea. But when there is no fish, you will remain there. Let me show you how Jesus solved that problem. Immediately, Jesus shows up. He says, little children, do you have any catch? Your time is being wasted there. And then he says, cast your net to the right side. And they caught fish that there was no more need to stay there. He said, now you can come and give me your attention. I want to tell you something that is a destiny information. But I can't tell you because there is no fish in your net. Come. And then when he sat down, he now said, forget the issue of fish. Simon Bajona, lovest thou me? Now, Simon had gotten fish. He said, yeah, Lord, you know. He said, no. Feed my lamb. How will I feed when the sea is not giving me fish? It takes fish to feed his lamb. When there is fish in your house, you can feed his lamb. Please hear what I'm telling you. I can tell you why there is a widespread of joblessness. It's related to the spiritual state of many young people in Nigeria. Because the moment you are a graduate and there are so, the, the burden is on you. Your father sees you praying. You say you are doing dry prayer and fasting. He will first keep quiet. One day when he gets annoyed, he will open that door while you are praying. And say, I was a pastor before you were born. Don't be stupid. Go out as a young man and look for something. You will be forced to round up that prayer in the middle of a revelation that will answer a generation's question. This is not about money, my brothers and my sisters. This is about the destiny of a generation as a function of time. A very wonderful man, come, husband and wife. You got married, happy couples, until money came. Are we together? Until what? Money issues came. Now she has twins. And the guy said he didn't plan for twins. But that doesn't change anything. Are we together now? And that's where the trouble starts. No food to eat. In-laws are calling. They now start hiding their monies from one another. Smuggling it through third-party bank accounts to reach to settle people quietly. They start suspecting one another. Stealing from one another. What a sword could not do, money did. It would tear this family into pieces. The man who started ministry with integrity and truth. When he started the ministry, they were using a mat. But now that they need a building, the budget is three billion. And he says, I can't waste this prophetic grace. First, he would follow it quietly. Just give as God helps you. Nobody's, I'm warning, give as God is, is talking to you. And they now keep quiet. Later, he says, okay, well, you will not see me free again. Because it looks like, you people are abusing this grace. This message is a message of exemption. To take us away from that which can cause a man to waste his life. And waste his destiny. You can start ministry well as a pastor. But the truth is that by the time your needs get overwhelming, you will start choosing where to go. Say, so let me see how many members first and how many givers. Let me watch a video somewhere. Did they raise money? I want to be sure of what, because I'm leaving my wife and my children. I'm hoping that this is the ministration that will bring my child school fees. Then the day you get there, rain falls and people don't come. And you are angry while you are preaching and people don't know why because you've calculated it look let, let me tell you something my brothers and my sisters if it is god you want to serve you will not serve him carelessly you serve god with intelligence there are things that must be settled to allow you the time to worship god are we together 
you always hear me say it that people go to pray and spend six hours you think they are crying for souls you think in the prayer they are having encounters they are worrying 80 percent of the time they're on the ground thinking just because they are not out for you to see you can think that they've spent six hours praying lord why is my life like this is this how will i serve you and die this way is this how everything about my life is going to be and while that is happening satan will manipulate someone to send a text to say i'm sorry i didn't want to tell you but i need to tell you i've watched your life and this your serving god is a shame the devil will use it and add you see, you see god you see what i'm saying now it's a shame they say it's a shame and you will get up with a negative conclusion that as far as me and god have you seen people who will tell you i used to do this don't if it's tongues i prayed in tongues more don't even bring that issue night vigil i started my night vigil from four till they will tell you that say yours that you are doing just nine to two is that vigil i pray from nine to two. where is the god our children will not go into slavery because of hunger are we blessed yes that you can lock your house with your wife and children and say this week we are spending time with god and when caesar comes you say caesar i will open the gate check somewhere there there are fishes pick your coin and go back caesar will always go back when there is coins the strength of caesar is when there is no coin he will harass you just when you want to worship god some people from your village will just come in a van that they came to greet you they say we've heard about what god is doing and we 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 just came to spend time and now you are in a tight corner because you have to honor them the budget already is running into something that will stop your prayer how will i call on your name and end up in shame no way no way how will i bow my knees before you and then bow down before a man no way this morning now listen very carefully the bible says jesus is speaking and he gave a parable he said the kingdom of god is likened to a man having a pearl a precious pearl and that it fell somewhere in darkness and the first thing that man did was to find a candle to find what to recover the the treasure you need two things a candle and a broom he said he got a candle lit that candle and began to sweep that room wherever that pearl is you must come out to sweep the room and the moment it came he found it so when you find out that something is not in your life you need light the light of god exact spiritual illumination not just a random communication of truth there is an exact body of truth allocated for the financial blessing of the saints it's a body of knowledge that can be exhausted it's not random the truths of scripture will not cover for themselves randomly no you are you can be blessed and anointed and heal the sick and still be poor because the truths do not replace they complement so the presence of one truth will not automatically solve the problem of another
fruits are like the buildings the rooms in a house you always hear me give this example i can have two keys out of 10 rooms i may have the key to the restroom if i want to ease myself then fortunate for me i have the key but if i do not have the key to the kitchen and i'm hungry the key to the restroom will do me no good i will hold the key to the restroom i have a key but not the key allocated for the kitchen and there are times you open these keys in different ways there are some you turn three times there are others you turn a padlock there are others you have to open a lock you have to know the key that opens the room that you desire you are my god a generation can be blessed and still passionate about god we were not designed to choose no to choose whether you want to be wealthy or spiritual that choice was given by religion not god are we blessed please you can reject poverty from a carnal sensual materialistic standpoint i hate poverty i hate poverty because there is already lost there are we together now and so your your hatred is is a derivative of lost not understanding but you can genuinely hate poverty because of the effect you have seen it cause your life and the kingdom there are many of you today you got books from the throne that are supposed to go to the nations but this god of mammon stamped your impact and kept it at a level you said god told you that this material should reach the nations there are people who have died today and it's money that killed them there are people who died today is poverty that killed them poverty is a spirit it can kill there are people in marriages today that should not be Poverty held them like an usher directs you to a seat and says, sit here. I redirect your destiny, not by a discussion. I use hunger to take you away from the will of God. Are we together? Now let me share with us two keys. Do we still have time for two of them? We thank you, O oh God, for giving us understanding. It is understanding that sets men free. The entrance of thy word giveth light. And then it gives understanding to the simple. So the next time you see poverty, remember time. Don't remember ego. Don't remember they will say I'm not succeeding. Leave all that one. My destiny is suffering right now because there's no, money. there's no money. The health of your marriage, your relationship, your children. There are children who have been delayed today by poverty. Poverty chose that you will not go to school for the next four years and they remain there. And let me tell you this. It is dangerous to prosper alone. It's the same thing as being poor. If all the brothers of Joseph had the same dream, Joseph would not go to prison. But because one over 12, one over, yes, one over 12 had a dream, the 11 said, so what are we? In Nigeria today, the average man, no matter how greedy and wicked you are, there are at least four people praying that you rise so that they can eat are we together yes. so the issue of your need being met does not mean the problem has been solved your wealth must be transgenerational for you to really rest enough to pay for every argument that can come enough to pay for the conflict no matter the wickedness the jealousy the, the contentions 
no matter how many people Caesar sends, they can all go back with their gold and let you focus on the things of God. This is my desire. Transformed version of you that will make those possibilities come is not there. Now, we continue to struggle to get these things one by one and they come and the Lord rejects their stay. That's why many things we receive will create physical scenarios and leave us. It may come as a loss in business. Listen to me. It may come as whatever. You will have a physical explanation. But I am telling you. It is the invincibility of spiritual laws. You will believe that the money left you. Because you invested in a bad business. Is the obvious answer not the right one. You will believe that the relationship left you just because um, the people are not nice. It's not true. You attract to your life the possibilities that reflect the growing version of you. You have to understand what I'm telling you. Everything in life is built twice. It is first built through your understanding and then it comes physically. Your mind alongside the Holy Spirit is the only authorized personalities to enter your future and verify and come back and take your body there if your mind does not lead your body to a place you really didn't get there even if you are there you are going to go back to where your mind is so your mind dreams with god enters your future sees the versions of the possibilities it comes to hold your body and says let's go I saw it it is real while your mind is traveling you are in one small room while your mind is traveling you are in one small corner while your mind is traveling you are wearing a shoe of 200 naira don't mind the shoe your mind is shopping for you already so don't be under pressure your mind has gone to the future and it returns back and says it is unfair for your body to remain in this condition I've gotten there let's go and in, it does not matter what your condition is please hear me this is a law you will transit to reflect the version of your mind there are people who buy cars and in two weeks the car starts looking like their mind because they really didn't buy the car twice their mind did not buy the car it was their hand that paid for the car and their mind treats it like an attack and fight it till that car lives their life then your mind says you are back to normal now are we together there are ministers of the gospel that have not transited spiritually and in understanding to certain realms of influence and increase and an opportunity can be given there you will be amazed how they will mess up that opportunity and return back to where they used to be because they they did not really transit to the realm where it made it fair to come now let me show you how true success happens now guys this is what will happen for every step i take you come closer to me watch this i don't see this 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 is too burdensome to change them to chase them one by one the things i need are too many if i use my time to change them i will die chasing them so god created a magnetic system watch this as i grow they come as i grow they come if i backslide in my understanding they go back watch this this is a technology of success while i'm standing here where will i ever meet a media man to interview me if I go around looking for media people, that can take my lifetime. So God said, don't worry. It is settled in your growth. Your assignment is that as I grow. So while I'm praying, this is what is happening in the realm of the spirit. While I'm reading a book and saying in the name of Jesus, this is what is happening. Now, because you cannot see it, does not mean it is not happening. This is how you came yesterday by this morning this is where you are now that you are not aware of don't be deceived by what is not in your pocket my brothers and my sisters it is a law backed up by god's integrity this is how we rise in this kingdom we never seek success we stay and dream with God 
we stay and dream with the spirit of wisdom listen he said as it was in the days of my youth please give me job 29 verse 1 let me show you the way of the ancient the way that gives peace the way that will cause you to lay up treasure as dust moreover job continued in his parable and said verse 2 all that i wear in the months past listen as in the days when god preserved me listen to the first miracle when his candle shine where there is a candle that shines on your path but there is a candle that shines on your head it first starts on your head you have received the one on your path have you received the candle that shines on your head and when by his light i walk through darkness verse 4 he says as i was in the days of my youth when the secrets this is more than ideas this is more than a company a company is a child of this mystery when the secrets of god were upon my tabernacle as a result next verse verse 5 it says the almighty was with me my children were about me and her six i washed my steps with butter the rock poured out rivers of oil read on please it says when i went to the gate i prepared my seat in the street uh-huh now listen to this the young men saw me and they hid themselves because they said you are not a man by what mystery do you rise and feed both the vicissitudes of life it says the aged arose old men don't rise up for a small child but because of the dexterity of my result the old they got up and stood next verse the princes refrained and laid their hands on their mouth no comments verse 10 and then we'll stop there and the nobles held their peace their tongues cleaved to the fruit of their mouth why because his light shined upon my head there is a spirit job said in man and it says the inspiration of the almighty can make any man from any background but under any condition listen listen to me please stand back all of you the problem is never joblessness please find a way of believing me your job has been coming but it didn't find you the version of you your job is looking for it has not found the prayer is not the prayer for a job help those under the anointing please hear me outside online inside you will always attract the dimensions that reflect your transition always listen this force is like gravity it will push any situation till you come out this that you learned this morning are not cunningly devised fables no history is full of men that rose please help that person under the anointing under any kind of situation it is not where you are coming from it is not all of those is the understanding of the systems the methodologies of the kingdom by his light upon your mind why is my church not growing i know the reason your church is reflecting your understanding it will grow and plateau where you stop listen watch this is the reason why if your mind can only receive ten thousand and i give you one million your mind will fight that one million till it gets back to ten thousand and it will stop there it's a law it's not a suggestion you can do nothing against the truth but for the truth listen so while you are in your one room instead of faking a cloth and faking a life and going to a restaurant and eating only once there for the rest of your life 
while Joseph was in prison his mind went to check Pharaoh's throne and said I can come here and the mind went back to the prison and carried the body of Joseph and brought him there while Hadassah listen the version of Hadassah the king wanted was not yet ready for the king so when they called Hadassah Hadassah did not go to the palace she stayed with Haggai the keeper of the king's virgin for one year until she became the version the king wanted in one night it is a training that takes time the manifestation works like a charm you can sleep overnight and wake up changed listen listen many people will say they came from nowhere there is no man that comes from nowhere it's a lie there is no man that comes from nowhere I can show you the dark days of many great men when only their minds could dare go to their future that, that you who is standing here now your mind already went to the crusade ground since last year watch your body go there no charm no divination will stop it your mind already handled the healing anointing you saw it already in your dreams you saw it in the visions listen it is true that as it is now in lagos you don't even have a permanent place to stay you just beg from house to house there is nothing to be ashamed of let me tell you the truth if your mind your mind can go anywhere even in the island it will create your space push any other house left and right and leave it for you there there are many things today that God has brought to my life that looked for me for many years but never found the version of me they were looking for I tried to hold it and it looked like it would never get there and I said do you know what the formula is not to seek you when you grow remember this example again watch this this is you this is you growing growing in prayer in study in mentorship trial and error while you are failing and then one day there is a season called the season of appearing it says John remain in the wilderness until his season of appearing that is the realm where no charm and no divination can stop that is the realm where even Satan cannot stop you it will do you. have you not read in your Bible that when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion he turned it in a way and a manner that we were like them that dream please hear me listen to what I'm telling you just carry that contract carry that certificate paper take it back to your room don't make a fool of yourself go and drop it in that room and stay with God what is the key that opens this door while you are doing that you will have to depend on someone for your lunch or dinner there's nothing to be ashamed of why fake what can be real apostle nobody likes me nobody wants to be my friend it's not true the version of you they are looking for does not exist but when you stay and find out the principles of friendship and begin to grow in virtue virtue is a measure of your closeness to the character of Christ the moment you build it you become Beulah and Hephzibah a delight music artists minimize going to the studio and sit down go to the studio in your mind dream with God he will give you one song one one by the spirit 
you will receive that song that song will give you a visa that song will stand you before kings and you look around and say what am i looking for here chasing everything one by one you will spend your lifetime and you will never have it i cannot come and look for fame isolate fame and say i want you isolate a celebrity life i want you isolate a healthy bank account that's strange god already saved you that burden because you don't even know all what you need when you pass a magnet on sand all the metals there provided there are nails imagine picking them one by one so you bring it and pass it slowly if you pass it fast you will miss some that's why god is taking you slowly listen in physics a metal that is not magnetic can be made to be magnetic just like you are not attracting anything and you can stay with this magnet called the holy ghost Aye. yes sir yes sir you may be in a hut looking at your aged mother looking at your aged father and they laugh at you and say shame on you you were born again 35 years old don't worry dream with god let the candle of the lord come upon your mind and you begin to grow the, the ministry influence very soon your past will hate you so much it will leave you your past will leave you into your future listen this is the mystery behind the unfair lifting of many people you will look at them and look at their persona and get angry and say but this man should not be the ceo and even him you will say it's true you are right except that the law does not fail irrefutable bound by god's integrity there's no parliament on earth that supervises the law righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne let me submit to you and i say it sincerely and with all humility when we were nothing the holy spirit took our minds to these days we dreamt with him and it says son walk that garden see it and our bodies were there that's when i found out that you don't need your body to arrive that's when i found out that your mind is also a prayer warrior that while your mouth is praying your mind too is praying the bible says god will do all we ask or think not ask and think your mouth can say god bless me and your mind will say don't answer again it's all right god can answer both requests so i found out that what my mouth was praying my mind was asking god to forget about it and then my mind and my mouth had a discussion and they found out that one was older than the other and i said you know what mind in this case you are a younger brother and there are all kinds of nonsense you must excel in light and i decided to give myself a time of real silence jesus for 18 years nobody knows what happened to him from age 12 jesus went into hiding the next time we see jesus he comes at age 30 and john looks at him and said that's right that's him that's him behold the lamb there were many people on the crusade ground of john but their minds were in their villages capernaum everywhere and they stood there but when one man came he said behold the lamb he was driven to the wilderness he came out and it was noised abroad who did it we don't know it was noised abroad i say this respectfully and with all humility a lot of people see the things that god is doing especially through my life and they think it's a mistake submit to you that is done with intelligence it can be reproduced again I found out that the key to impacting a generation is to find the age range and grow with generation. 
when we started it looked like we we're just doing young men who cannot prosper you will i be stupid to go and mentor the generation of our mothers and fathers no matter who i heal if i speak and papa adeboe begins to speak they will listen to him they love me but they will say i'll talk to you later as anointed as i am because that's not the generation of my influence any generation that you don't participate in their growth you will not be featured in their greatness you will not evolve from somewhere and tell a generation to honor you no that's why i told you timing matters there are people who have already missed a generation already no matter what kind of anointing the generation will not attest to you as a voice that they will listen to because you don't have a place in their history Papa Iya Deboe and these great fathers of faith grew with our fathers and their mothers. They, can, they could relate to their impact in their growth process. So today, no matter who rises, it doesn't matter whether you are greater or less than, that is the voice approved to represent the face of God for a generation. That's what Ejimi was trying to say when he was up here. Whose face is this? You better look for what this generation must know you for and start branding your impact specifically a day will come you will call people and say you mean you are not aware i'm there they say well i checked my history and your face was not there so keep serving god will support as time allows but there are faces and voices it will take a long time your life will be scrutinized and vetted but once a generation approves you it's done it's like a visa they stamp it there and no devil from hell it's a painful process but it's how you enter your sabbath billy graham became the face to a generation till he died and even the presidents as hedonistic as some of them were the only preacher that was allowed to preach in north korea it was not because they believed in God how could you deny a system like that when God was showing us these secrets there was nothing comely to be desired there's no shame in it you see I say this because I want to inspire a generation for those of you who believe people were just lucky aided by some no no sir no sir the key is this while I was here look at you here you didn't know me but i was here yet you were looking for me but not this version of me imagine if i had to look for you imagine if i had to look for new heritage baptist imagine if i had to look for our mothers imagine if i had to look for some of you who continue to promote our teachings on youtube think the difficulty and so god said that's not the way for step by step you lead me and i will follow you all of my days for step by step you lead me and i will follow you all of my days i wish i had time you know you won't believe i've not even touched what i wanted to say i wanted to teach you on the law of relationships and the law of honor these two spiritual laws we thank god and we know god will help us this is a world of men it's not enough to know god you must know men <laughs> if god says yes and a man on earth says no the answer is no i know you will not believe me when you talk about the sovereignty of god in terms of his exclusivity yes he can open a door that no man can shut but you have to realize that in this kingdom all blessings come from god through men to men say it after me from god through men to men god leaves men by using men satan brings men down
by using men so what is man that thou art mindful of not the son of man that thou visitest him david knew god but he didn't know samuel he remained in the wilderness david needed to know both god and samuel to come out of the wilderness joseph knew god but he did not know pharaoh and he remained in the wilderness it was pharaoh that sent for him god already sent for him since but because pharaoh refused he remained in the prison are you getting what i'm saying jesus was the son of god but he didn't know john and he remained the nazarene until he met john he became the christ you are christ the son of the living god Who hates you in this kingdom does not matter but who likes you matters yes sir there are people who are not castable you can't cast them out when god wants to help you he will make you to be at peace with them they are gatekeepers approved by god including cyruses they are the kinds that when a man's way pleases the lord he will make those sets of enemies you can't pray them away you can't bind them they are gatekeepers God will have to touch their hearts to open the gates for you. Is God speaking to us? These are the systems of the kingdom. Please listen to my message that I preached at the King's Court. If you can get it, the King's Court, some of their people, wonderful members are here. And, and the women, the women conference, I taught there on the life of esther look for it i'm sure it's online there are many wonderful sites here some of you are here and please listen to the law of honor esther honored her man to death honor is a weapon that can kill a woman in that scripture never used a knife there was everything in the palace but dishonor was about to separate the palace into two the chariots were still there the knights were still there the throne was still there but one woman's dishonor was about to divide 127 provinces and the elders came and said no do something to this woman in that teaching i show how you can transit from shushan to the palace a young village girl who was given a chance by a man called mordecai and that young lady accents her way to be king. she never fights yes she defeats she never killed yet she displaced when her man was there she used honor to kill her man honor does not only lift you can use honor to bring enemies down she invited the king for a banquet and invited her man too it didn't make sense a man was honoring his death sentence and the queen waited until it got to the feast of wines and then she now said i have a request someone is threatening the queen and my people and the king said who because it takes wine for certain requests to be answered and then when she honored that he said this man her man and all of a sudden oh my god the king one night could not sleep and he said bring me the chronicles because you see it's a spiritual law that every time you help a man rise you should never be small mordecai preserved the king's honor and the book of remembrance recorded it but he was not lifted the law started fighting the king's sleep this is scripture the king could not sleep it was not a demonic attack 
no spirit was casted like Saul no the king said bring me the chronicles when he began to flip he got to the place of Mordecai he said who is in the palace and her man came he said what should be done for such a man and her man finished designing another man's future he said go and do the same thing for her man watch this when her man went to tell his wife the wife said who are you fighting he said a jew he said your doom has come your doom you are the covenant keeping god yahweh the covenant keeping nor alter the thing that has gone forth from my mouth these are ordinances backed up by god's own integrity her man was hung in the gallows mordecai became lifted esther became queen no sword sometimes you don't need a sword you need laws and they will tame down every enemy The law of honor is one of the most powerful spiritual laws I've learned. Second only to the law of encounter. You can honor your way to any realm. You can honor your way to any dimension. The pride of our generation is why we don't rise. We always discern in the flesh. Everything it is looking for you one encounter with the light of god can turn your life around it is true one man can speak over you and say look i like you give him a job they will give you a job that your one year's wage now becomes your monthly wage and he says give him an allowance remember you saw in your dream 10 years ago that you had the job but because you did not find the man who will fulfill that prophecy God continued to look like a liar it takes the spirit and the bride for the word to come the spirit said come the bride too must say come for the word to come if the spirit says come and the bride says go the word will not come it took both Mary and the Holy Spirit for Jesus to arrive the Holy Ghost kept hovering around earth, waiting, looking for wombs. When he finally one, she said, Be it unto me according to your word. Jesus arrived. Otherwise, he would have remained spirit, the word, the logos in the realm of the spirit. It was the word became flesh because of the spirit and the bride. The spirit has said yes. Can the bride say yes? You must know the systems that will compel life to say yes. Our time is gone. We are going to pray. I hope that you were able to get something. These are the systems of the kingdom. You can play life like a chess when you understand these truths. Otherwise, we can shadow box and get. The real authority of a believer is in the quality of your spiritual enlightenment. Then the relationships that come in honor of that enlightened state and then the grace that is upon you. These are the three things that distinguish men. When a man wants to reproduce himself, the first thing you will reproduce is your spiritual understanding. The second thing is you will expose that individual to the relationships at that level. The third thing is he becomes a partaker of that same grace. When these three things happen, you have reproduced yourself jesus followed that formula i don't have time number one he started by mentoring them giving them what we call the beatitudes the principles of the kingdom then watch this he introduced them in john 16 14 15 16 a relationship with the holy spirit as the ultimate reason for his success he said now that i've taught you on certain matters of the kingdom let me introduce you to a personality when he the spirit of truth is come 
he will guide you into all truth he said and then at the end of it in Acts chapter 1 he said you shall receive these three things brought Jesus into the apostles it is how to mentor a generation you enlighten them and construct their belief systems by the power of the Holy Spirit to resonate to the dimension that reflects the character and the mind of Christ then number two you introduce them to the human structures they must understand the world of men you will never rise if you do not understand men please listen to my message understanding men mastering relationships there are ethics of relationships you must learn for instance all men are men it's a revelation that will save you from heartache all men are men so the vulnerabilities of men does not come as a surprise because you have already been pre-informed that the best of a man is a man up together then number two that God stores his possibilities in men the vessels in 2nd Kings 4 is not just a jar 